everyone, Beth Tuttle here. Based on traditional Chinese medicine, our kidney energy is at its highest during the winter months. So now that we're heading into December, I thought it'd be a great time to share a couple simple exercises that you can do to make sure your kidneys are healthy and vibrant. You know, winter is also a time for us to honor slowing down, reflecting inwardly, and just to um, rest and conserve our energy so that we feel replenished and recharged for the springtime instead of burned out. And the best way to do that is to intentionally um, take time to work with your kidney energy. You know, our kidneys remove toxins from our body. They um, cleanse our blood, remove waste and extra fluid. So it's really important to make sure they are functioning at their highest. And actually, our kidney is the number one organ that's affected whenever we're stressed out. So the first thing we're going to do is just rub our hands together. You're going to get heat moving between your hands, some energy moving. And then I just want you to rub them up and down your lower back there where your kidneys are located. By doing this rubbing up and down, you're actually helping remove toxins from your body. It's really that simple. You could just stop a few times through the day and rub that area where your kidneys are and that's one simple way to increase that kidney energy. And then the other one is an exercise I've shown you before. It's called the K27. It's right below your collarbones and it's the endpoints of your kidney meridians. And you're just going to vigorously tap there. This is great for your kidney energy and it's also um, a way to keep all of the entire meridian system in your body vibrant and healthy and balanced. Those are two simple exercises that you can do to make sure that your kidney energy is vibrant and healthy, especially while we're going through the winter months. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, I would love for you to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.